Hey everybody, it's release day for 2019 Tops Gypsy Queen. And right here I have a hobby box with 24 packs, including in those packs, two on-card autographs in this box. Um, you can see Shoya Otani is on the front. They got a picture of him hitting. They got a picture of him pitching. He won't be doing much pitching this year, of course, with uh, Tommy John surgery, but might make an impact uh, at the plate. Uh, here's the back of the box. By the way, I picked up this box at Steel City Collectibles, and it cost me about $106 after tax. Uh, I think it was like 97 and some cents, and then with the uh, tax and everything, that uh, raises it up a lot more. Uh, we have some sponsors for this video, which I have to um, grab those cards really quick. Denise is gonna be getting all of the cards from the left-hand side of the box. On the right-hand side of the box, John A's gonna get that stack of eight packs. And in the middle, we got Darren C. So without further ado, let's pop this open and see what we got. Uh, you can see that um, it's pretty nice looking, actually. I like the display. This is what the uh, inside of the box looks like. Um, these would probably be around $5 packs at your local card store, I'm assuming. Each box comes with a box topper, which includes three chrome cards. Uh, possibly one of them might be autographed. I don't know. We'll save that for the end, and we'll divide these three up amongst our sponsors. Uh, top card will go to the left, middle card will go to the center, bottom card will go to the right. We're going to start off here with the left stack of packs here. And these are all going to Denise W. So Denise, good luck. Thank you for your sponsorship of this video. Allows me to buy hobby boxes to break every release day whenever they come out. So thank you very much. Uh, here is the pack. Nice design. And the back of the pack, for those of you that like your odds, um, you can pause it right there if you'd like to. Just read through that. And now let's go. First pack of Gypsy Queen. Eight cards per pack. We got Robinson Cano as our first card there. Um, pretty nice design. Looks like most Gypsy Queen releases. I think last year they didn't have a border the whole way around, though, which is pretty nice. Uh, check out the back, Kyle Schwarber. The back just gives you a little uh, paragraph, a couple sentences about the player. It doesn't look like there's any stats on the back of these. Seth Lugo. Reese Hoskins. That's a pretty cool picture. I like that one. Then Fortune Teller with Aaron Nola. These Fortune Fortune Teller minis are going to be throughout Gypsy Queen. You can see that it says at his current pace, Nola will have 642 strikeouts after 100 starts, a level he will reach in his seventh inning or seventh outing of 2019. That would be a Phillies record. So Fortune Teller kind of predicts the future. We got a Carlos Correa and Jake Lamb and Joey Lucchesi for our first pack. There are two on-card autographs. That's what we're looking for. Um, hopefully, we pull something big. All right, we got Julio Tehran and then Chris Archer from the Buccos. Eduardo Escobar, um, Chris Shaw, David Price. That's a pretty cool picture. Make it a play. Edwin Diaz in his Mets uniform. Uh, Jacob Junis and Brandon Lowe for our second pack for Denise. Next up, opening day is tomorrow, by the way. Can't believe it's finally here. A lot of teams opening all over baseball. Victor Robles, he's going to be interesting to watch this year. He might be the difference in that division if he can step up. And Phil Harper's shoes, Jose Martinez, Jose Leclerc, the Texas Rangers um, closer. Here's a rookie card, Michael Kopech. That's one of the better rookies that you can get in 2019 until um, Vladimir Guerrero Jr.'s cards come out, along with uh, Fernando Tatis Jr., which, by the way, Tatis made the opening day roster, so that's really awesome. You're going to be hearing a lot about Fernando Tatis Jr. Also, Eloy Jimenez, going to be a nice race for Rookie of the Year between uh, a few of these great up-and-coming rookies. Todd Frazier, Dakota Hudson, Scott Shebler. We got something coming up here. Kevin Kramer, check it out. It's going to be... An Edwin Diaz, um, Tarot of the Diamond card. Um, it's an insert card. Not sure what the exact ratio of finding these are, but it's pretty cool. Looks like a playing card there. Then we have Sir Anthony Dominguez and Carlos Santana. Last card there. I don't know about the Indians, by the way. Um, Francisco Lindor just... Uh, tweaked his ankle, and he's going to be out for who knows how long. Indefinite amount of time. Twins, the more and more I think about the Twins, the more and more I like the Twins. I think if uh, 
If there's going to be a division that's kind of like stolen by surprise, I could see the Indians losing it um, in the AL Central and the Twins sneaking in there. Twins are going to be good. Athletic team. Byron Buxton's looking really good in spring training. It's going to be um, come down to if they can pitch or not. We shall see. That's why they play the game. All right, next pack. Ian Desmond on the top there. Michael Brantley in his Houston uni. Kind of weird to see him in a Houston Astros uniform. Sandy Alcantara and then Starley Marte. We got something here. It's going to be a redemption card. So, Denise with our first of two hits. And your autograph card is going to be a Gypsy Queen autograph. Indigo Parallel. I think those are out of what? I can't remember if it's 250 or 50. It's going to be a... Juan Soto. That is pretty nice. A Juan Soto autograph. Congratulations, Denise. You just have to take this card and send it in or fill out the redemption on the back and you will get your Juan Soto. That's a good one. Juan Soto Gypsy Queen Baseball uh, autograph card. Pretty awesome. We got Mike Fires, George Springer, and Archie Bradley. So that's our first hit. Always would rather pull the actual card itself than redemption. I mean, redemptions are good if I mean if it's a good player, it's it's good and it's still somewhat exciting. But I would much rather actually have the card in my hand. I'm sure all of you feel that way. Also, Bryce Harper in his Nationals uni. Probably see him in his Phillies uniform coming up pretty soon with, I don't know, Top Series 2 comes out in June. He'll probably be in that set. I would imagine they'd throw him in there again, but you never know. All right, we got Trey Mancini, and then a Brad Keller, Enrique Hernandez, Colby Allard, Marcel Ozuna. Nice uh, parallel card out of 250. You can see it's numbered 211 out of 250. Jake Arrieta, Josh Hader, and... Framil Reyes rounds out that side of the box for Denise. All right, next, let's move over to the center. This stack of cards is for Darren C. So, Darren, good luck. I know Darren likes his Rockies. Let's see if we can pull a Rockies autograph card for him. It'd be nice to find a Nolan Arenado autograph. But we shall see. Looks like you got one of those Terra of the Diamond cards in here, possibly, or maybe a numbered card. Ponce de Leon, Taiwan Walker. There's a, a Dubal Herrera. And then Ten of Swords, Edwin Encarnacion, Terra of the Diamond. Insert card, Jack Flaherty. Lewis Brinson and Jose Abreu for your first pack. Next up, pack number two. Let's see what we can find here. Zach Granke is on top. He's making a really kind of like disgusted face. He must not be happy about something going on. Mike Clevenger from that great Indians rotation. Joey Votto, future Hall of Famer. Jacob Nix, Ozzie Albies. We'll have to see if he has a uh, another awesome season. Hopefully he doesn't have a sophomore slump. And then Fortune Teller. Let's see what it says about Aaron Judge. How many home runs do you think Judge is going to hit this year? Over or under 45? I'm going to take the over on that. I hope Judge hits about 50 again. It says Ryan Howard hit his 100th home run in his 325th game. 60 fewer than anyone else. Judge, who needs 17... We'll do so quicker than Ralph Kiner to take second place. All right, so uh, Ryan Howard went on to have a great career. Injured his um, Achilles tendon in last up out of the World Series and was never, ever the same. But still, great, great career. Um, I forget the year he passed. I think he had like 58 home runs one year. JT Real Muto, still in his Marlins uniform. Wilson Contreras, let's we'll see if he bounces back. He had a terrible year last year, had like a 390 slugging percentage. Anthony Rendon, Justin Verlander, newly extended two year contract. Ryan Healy and Austin Dean for the rest of that pack for Darren. All right, next up, there's one more autograph hiding out somewhere in here. Hoping it's not a redemption card again. There's a Charlie Blackman for you, Darren. All right, we got Corbin Burns, Marcus Semyon, Andrew McCutcheon. That's kind of really weird to see McCutcheon in his Phillies uni. That is weird. First time seeing McCutcheon in a Phillies uniform, and um, I, I miss him in his Bucko uniform. As you know, I'm from Pittsburgh, so Pirates season ticket holder here. We'll never get used to seeing McCutcheon in another uniform. All right, next pack. What do we got here? This is uh, pack number five, I think. There's A. Eugenio Suarez, Kyle Tucker, Miguel Cabrera. Well, I think Miguel Cabrera is going to have a nice year this year. He went through a lot the last two years. 
Um, as you know, um, he was um, being blackmailed by his mistress who gave birth to uh, two um, kids. And uh, his wife found out and it was just a whole messy ordeal with Miguel Cabrera. And now that's all finally behind him. I have to wonder if that plus the injuries didn't really hinder him. So look for Miguel Cabrera to have a big year this year. Our fortune teller for Blake Snell, only one race pitcher, Matt Garz in 2010, had thrown a no-hitter. Snell, who led MLB by only allowing 5.6 hits per nine, will be the next. I don't know. Blake Snell, no-hitter, what do you think? We'll see. Jacoby Jones? I'd like to see Charlie Morton throw a no-hitter. That guy's got, when he's on, Charlie Morton's got some filthy, filthy stuff. It's just going to be the matter if they're going to let him go the entire time. Juan Soto. Hunter Renfro, and then we have a Dylan Bundy, Corey Seager, Dustin Pedroia, CJ Crone from those up and coming twins, Jeffrey Springs, and Matt Olson. So, two more packs for Darren. See if you get the autograph. If you don't have an autograph in here, that means John A looks like he's going to get it, unless quality control and Gypsy Queen's not that good and they screwed it up. Hopefully, that's not the case. Byron Buxton, again, look for a big breakout year from him. Evan Longoria, Aaron Judge. Kendrys Morales, there's a Trey Turner making a play. Shane Green. And then we got Edward Encarnacion and Albert Pujols, who has a few more years left on his deal. He's probably going to hit over 700 home runs when it's all said and done. He's just a shell of his former self, but um, I still root for Albert. Always like to see um, players that achieve longevity. There's a Paul Goldschmidt in his St. Louis Cardinals uniform. That's pretty cool. Jose Barrios, Sean Newcomb, Pedro Martinez. That's pretty cool. Pedro Martinez. It's kind of like a throwback there. Um, I don't know if that might be a uh, variation or not. That's I think that's the first older player we've received. Tyler Glass now, J.D. Martinez, and Carlos Carrasco. So... That was the last pack. That means John A. is going to get our last hit. Um, let's see what you get, John. Last side here. Right-hand stack. Gypsy Queen. I have three cases of this, by the way, uh, on the way to me. Should be here tomorrow. That'll be in our next case break. We'll probably, I'm, we might just do Gypsy Queen the entire time for our next case break. These are pretty sweet cards. Cal Freeland. Michael Franco. Clayton Kershaw. There's our strength. Tarot of the Diamond card featuring J.D. Martinez, Stephen Duggar, and Jose Altuve for John's first pack. Next up, pack number two of eight. There's got to be an autograph in here somewhere. All right, we got Billy McKinney, Whit Merrifield. Not too many Pirates cards so far in Gypsy Queen. Trevor Richards, Francisco Garcia. We got Tanaka, max effort picture there of Tanaka. And then um, Adam Eaton. D.D. Gregorius, who should return some point this summer to help the Yankees, and Willie Adames. All right, let's see what we have next. Gypsy Queen, pack number three of eight for John. You can buy a case of Gypsy Queen. They're a little over a 1000 bucks right now on eBay for a case, and I think there's 12 boxes per case, I want to say, something like that. Dennis Santana, Giancarlo Stanton, Jeff McNeil, Xander Bogarts, and Joey Gallo. We have not pulled a Mike Trout or Shoya Otani yet. Be nice to get one of those two. Even be nicer if they were autographed cards. Lou Trevino. Luis Urias, rookie card. The rookie card is real subtle. The logo, real, real subtle. And Gypsy Queen. It's almost like a watermark. Tucker Barnhart, Eric Hosmer. Then we have Reynaldo Lopez, and there's our autograph. That is a nice-looking card. Eddie Rosario, on-card autograph from the Twins. That's a pretty sweet-looking card. Um, see if it's numbered or not. Check out the back. Congratulations, John. You have just received a Gypsy Queen autograph card. Um, it says the signing is witnessed by a Tufts representative. Pretty cool. Eddie Rosario, really decent player. We'll have to see how his season goes with the Twins. He's, uh, I like that picture. I'm getting pumped up there. Maybe just scored uh, the winning run of a game. Eddie Rosario is our second hit. Juan Soto and Eddie Rosario. Not a bad box. Not a bad box at all. All right, let's finish this off. What do we got here? Four packs left, including this one. Oda Rizzi. And then Ryan McMahon, Tyler Austin, Jeremy Jeffress. Nolan Arenado. Jesus Aguilar, 
Scott Kingery and Taylor Ward. Pulled a little bit of uh, a couple Taylor Ward cards out of Inception in the case break that I did um, the last weekend. I have to do a look forward to seeing him this year. All right, then we got O'Hearn, Camargo, Nimmo, Jackie Bradley, JBJ. That's a pretty cool picture. Sliding into the wall, making a catch. Then we have an, uh, an air card there. Actually, it's, it's meant to be this way. It is missing the nameplate. Name missing card of Kristen Stewart. So I'm not sure how much more these are worth without the name, but it's pretty cool. Kind of reminds you of the old 1990 tops Frank Thomas no name on front, which I'll probably never own. But one of these days, I'd like to try to get that card. That one's really, really tough to find. Felipe Vasquez, there's a pirate card for us. All right, we got two packs left for John. Maybe we'll get a third autograph. You never know. Sometimes it happens. Nomar Mazzara. Eddie Rosario. It's your second Rosario card. Addison Reed. James Paxton and his Yankees. You need a fortune teller of... Jose Altuve, I don't know, 3,000 hits. Maybe they're predicting that for him. It just says um, a healthier Altuve in 2019 will reclaim the batting title, making him just the ninth player to ever capture, capture that. Okay. Um, obviously, he's not going to get 3,000 hits this year. He's still a ways away as he broke into the league back in 2010, I think he came up, at the end of 2010 or halfway through 2010. So hopefully he plays 20-plus years and gets to 3,000. little guy like that, he should have some longevity. And now we're down to our last pack. Tim Anderson, Matt Boyd, Brandon Belt. There's Billy Hamilton, Brandon Lowe, rookie card, and Zach Cozart, Josh Reddick rounds out the box. So that's it for Gypsy Queen, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked uh, checking out this product with me. We'll be doing a case break of it soon. I'll probably put those up for sale um, to Patreon maybe Friday this week. Um, because I'm likely not going to be able to do it on Wednesday by because I'm going to do a game at PNC Park. So might do the case break next week on Tuesday and just feature Gypsy Queen. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Um, it's time to do a case break right now, so I will see you all later. Thank you for watching. Please click that subscribe button. Leave a comment telling me what you think about the new release of Gypsy Queen, and I'll see you all later. But wait, there's more. I was editing the video, and I... I Realized, dude, you forgot to do the Chrome cards. So here we go. We're going to do these Chrome cards real quick. Um, Denise is going to get the top card. Darren gets the middle. John A gets the right. Let's see what we get. These Chrome cards. Sorry about that. Our top one is Kyle Schwarber. Nice Chrome card. That one's going to Denise. Our second card is going to be a Ryan O'Hearn Chrome for Darren. Rookie card. And the bottom one is a Will Myers Gold border parallel card numbered out of 50 six of 50 all right so now i'm definitely getting out of here thank you once again everybody i'll see you all later